friends. I'm so excited to have my friend Sabrina here with us today. Let's all wave hi to Miss Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. <laughs> Some of you will remember her as your Sunday school teacher or a cubbies helper. Okay, Sabrina, we're going to draw some stars to start with today. You at home, if you want to draw with us, you can go grab some paper and some chalk or markers or crayons, whatever you want to draw on your paper. Okay, let's get our chalk, Sabrina. And we're going to sing a little bit of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as we're drawing. So you at home, help us sing along. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Excellent. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, Sabrina. Okay. I have a question for you. Where do you go to look at the stars? Sabrina, have you ever been to a place where you can see so many stars at night? Yes. Camping. One of my favorite times camping, we didn't even sleep in a tent. We slept in the back of a truck so we could watch the stars as we fell asleep. Wow. It was great. The stars shine over us at night and God watches over us all the time. We can trust God. Okay, today's Bible point tells us we can trust God. Every time you hear the words, we can trust God. Point up and say, trust God. Let's try that together. Okay. Ready, Sabrina? I'll get you to help me with the actions. Okay. Okay. Every day, in every way, we can trust God. Trust God. When things are new, we can trust God. Trust God. Every day, in every way, we can trust God. Trust God. Let's try that one more time. We're learning it too. Every day, in every way, we can trust God. Trust God. When things are new, we can trust God. Trust God. Every day, in every way, we can trust God. Trust God. Great job. Thanks for your help, Sabrina. Okay, friends, now it's time to talk to our friend, Busley B. Busley will introduce us to our new Bible memory buddy. Let's call for Busley. Now, Sabrina, I'll get you to help me with this as well. Okay. We're going to flap our arms like a bee. And we're going to buzz, and we're going to call for Buzzly B. Okay. And you at home, join us. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Let's play hide and seek. Cover your eyes and take a peek. Can you see Buzzly B? Hi, Buzzly. Buzz Hi kids, I'm Buzzly B, your buddy. B, leave me. I'm so happy to see you today. <laughs> if you're happy, buzz like a bee and smile like me. Ready? One, two, three, buzz. <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet my Bible buddy. Her name is Ray, and she's a giant manta ray. Can you pretend you're swimming in the water and say, hey, Ray? Hey, Ray! <laughs> Hello, friends. I'm Ray, and I'm a giant manta ray. Giant means really big. I'm one of the biggest fish you'll find in the ocean. 
We manta rays don't hold still very long. We keep moving through the water all the time. <laughs> Maybe you like to keep moving too. Moving keeps me breathing. The water slides over my gills and gives me the oxygen I need to stay alive. Want to breathe with me? On the count of three, let's take a deep breath and then let it out. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. In the Bible, a man named Abram had to keep moving too. God told him to leave his home and go to a new place. God promised to show Abram where to go. God made another promise to Abram too. God said that Abram would have a big family, as many grandkids as the stars in the sky. Wow! Now that's a big family! Abram trusted God. We can trust God too. In the Bible book of Psalms, chapter 33, verse 4, it says, For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything he does. We can trust God. He's way bigger than me. You can trust God when things change. No matter where you go, God promises to be with you. We can trust God. Let's tell Busley B the great news. We'll say we can trust God together on the count of three. One, two, three. We can trust God. Trust God. It's totally true. Believe me. God loves you and you and you. It's time for me to buzz away. Don't forget. God loves you each and every day. Let's wave goodbye. Bye, friends. Bye, Buzzley. Ray is our new Bible memory buddy, and she's a giant manta ray. Giant manta rays are some of the world's largest fish. I want you to spread your arms out like giant manta ray fins and pretend to glide through the ocean. Ray reminds us that we can trust God. Trust God. We also have a new Bible memory verse, which like all of our verses, comes from the Bible. Let's say it together. I'll say a line, and then you repeat after me. For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything he does. Psalm 33, verse 4. When we trust, we hold tight to what we know is true. And God holds the whole world in his hands. Let's sing about that.
can trust God. Trust God. Our story from the Bible tells us about a man named Abram. Abram lived in a place called Haran. Abram knew where he lived really well. Our church, Ladner Baptist Church, is in the town where a lot of us live, in Ladner. Let's talk about what it's like where you live. Let's see, maybe there's some farms by where you live, um, maybe some cows on the farm, or maybe there's a park close to your house. There's a park close to my house where I live, or maybe you live on a busy street and you might be close to a bus stop. Now it's your turn to share with us about where you live. We'll give you five seconds to shout out your answers. Go ahead. Thanks for sharing with us about where you live. Imagine leaving where you live to go somewhere new. That's what God told Abram to do. Sabrina, would you like to leave where you live and go somewhere new? Well, as exciting as that could be, I kind of like living here in Ladner. Mm. I know what you mean. Let's see what God said to Abram. Well, God told Abram that he would bless him. God promised that Abram would have a big family someday, and God would use that family to bless lots of people. Have you ever heard someone say, bless you, after you sneeze? That person is saying, bless you, to wish you well because you're sick. They notice that you sneezed and hope you get better soon. Achoo! Bless you! Thank you. That's not the kind of blessing God gave Abram. <laughs> God didn't bless Abram because he sneezed. That would be silly. God is all-powerful and blessed Abram because he wanted good things for Abram. God would make those good things happen. So Abram trusted God and move to a new place. Okay, let's pretend, and you at home pretend with us, that we're Abram and his family. And let's follow God's instructions and go to a new place. I'm not sure where we'll go, but I know we can trust God. Trust God! Okay, let's walk around and see what we see. Oh, Sabrina, I see some tents over there. Ooh. Oh, and a palace up on the hill. Wow. Let's keep walking. Yeah. Ooh. I see camels <gasps> and a stream. Wow. You see some pretty neat things in a new place. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys saw some neat things as well. So Abram stopped in a town called Shechem and he camped beside a tree. God told Abram that his camping spot would be his home someday. God also told Abram to build an altar. An altar was a special table made of rocks and was where people gave gifts or offerings to God. Let's build a pretend altar here in our new place. Okay. And you guys at home, you can grab some pillows or blocks or anything you can stack up and you can build a pretend altar too. Ooh, nice fit. <laughs> Very nice. Mm -hmm. And let's pray. We'll thank God. Thank you, God, for always providing for us and helping us find a new place. Amen. Amen. After he built an altar, Abram kept traveling. He stayed in different places, trusting that God's promise would come true. God always keeps his promises. God wanted to show Abram something, so they went outside and looked up at the stars. Okay, let's all look up and imagine a sky full of stars. Hmm, look at all those stars. They're really bright. There's some really, really bright ones. Wait, I think I see the Big Dipper. 
Sabrina, do you see any constellations up there? I think I see Orion's belt. Oh, I love that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna count how many stars I see. Okay, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, I lost track. Let's try that again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Shoot, there's so many stars I can't keep track. Wow, there are too many stars in the sky. We can't begin to count them all. Let's see why God wanted Abram to look at the stars. Sabrina, can you please read Genesis chapter 15, verse 5 for us? I would love to. Then the Lord took Abram outside and said to him, Look up into the sky and count the stars, if you can. That's how many descendants you will have. Descendants are family members. So Sabrina, what did God promise Abram? Well, God promised Abram that he would have a big family. That's a big promise. Abram believed God. Abram trusted that God would do what he said. We can trust God. Trust God. God always keeps his promises. God made a promise to Abram, and God makes promises to us. What God says is true. Do these actions with us. Sabrina, I'll get you to help me again with these actions. God says he loves us a lot, and he'll love us forever. God says he has a plan for our lives, and he'll guide us and help us. God says... He'll always be with us, and we're never alone. Let's do a air hug. <laughs> we can trust God. Trust God. God made a promise to Abram. Later in the Bible, God made another promise to Abram's family. God promised to send Jesus. Jesus came to bless the whole world. Jesus shows us how much God loves us, and he's our forever friend. What a great story. Miss Sabrina, thank you so much for coming and helping us with our lesson today. It was a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun. It was fun. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Okay, we're going to close in a prayer, and we'll see you all next week. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for the Bible and for your word, and for the stories that we can read about you. I thank you for your promises, and I thank you for taking us to new places and for going there with us. Please just be with us in this coming week. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.